Hey kids, it is <clears throat> Dad. It is a Wednesday, uh, hopping busy Wednesday. Lots of stuff going on. Um, kind of, kind of neat. Um, this just makes me smile every time I see it. Every time I, every time I see that, just the the little people sitting right there on the couch. That just makes me smile. <clears throat> um, but I just want to kind of relate a little story that. Uh, that happened uh, last night. Last night was a busy day. Didn't get home till 9 30 or 10. And in my inbox was this email from a gal I've never met before. Uh, we'll call Lori P. Uh, it says Hi, Tommy. I found you on Twitter and looked at your blog. I'm the producing director of a small non for profit theater company in New York City and looking for your help. I know you don't live in New York City, but I thought you might be able to pass this info on to the people who might know. It is greatly appreciated. Lori P. Uh, and uh, uh, she is running or directing this uh, theatrical production company called Kef Theatrical Productions. Um, and it looks like they're actually doing a, uh, a show on Broadway. Kind of neat. Uh, it's between Broadway, so off Broadway. But it's still a Broadway show. And they're looking for an intern. Um, they're an intern to assist the artistic director. Um, duties include day-to-day -day production, pr producing duties of marketing, administration, ticket organization, errands. <clears throat> so basically it'll be a boy or a girl Friday taking care of helping helping out. Didn't say dry cleaning. You might be able to pick up dry cleaning. <clears throat> um, it's a no-pay kind of situation. Um, uh, but you can get college credit and leisure rec recommendation. But you know, I thought this is really, really cool that um, that Lori would reach out. Uh, you know, I'm tweeting it, retweeting it, kind of sending it around the horn. But that's just kind of neat how your network can reach out to you, and you get this kind of thing. Um, so certainly, if you're interested, uh, info at kefproductions.com. I'll put that here. But how neat! What an ingenious way. Uh, you know, we, we, we've really never interacted uh, via Twitter yet, but I certainly will. I, I look forward to chatting with her and <clears throat> building that relationship, but reaching out to me and, and I don't know, it's just really cool. It's a neat new way of uh, looking, for, looking for help. I mean, social media is all about listening, all about helping other people. And this is just a really, really neat way of helping, uh, and I thought that was uh, kind of cool. Uh, as I'm driving home... Um, there was an amber alert on on the radio and uh, kind of took me back a little bit <clears throat> you know why would someone want to abduct a, a, a four-year-old uh, a four-year-old boy um, uh, you know the technology these days where they can cut into all the TV and radio stations I, I I've seen amber alerts on billboard signs and digital billboards and but man I, I don't know why you would want to do that I don't know why you'd want to be uh, not a part of it but why would, why, um, you know, think about this little boy. What, what's he done wrong? Nothing. Um, just sent me back. Completely, uh, complete uh, change of topic. Uh, but I love you, Madeline. I love you, Claire. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Emma. And I love you, baby Drew. It's a big kid weekend. Can't wait for that. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.